Hello everyone, we have Mayuri with us today and she is going to tell us all about the DCS program by DE Shaw. So let's start with having a brief introduction about herself. A brief introduction about myself, I'm Mayuri, currently a third year CSE undergrad student from NIT Patna. I'm a coding enthusiast and uh, apart from that, my hobbies are sketching and painting. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So Mary, what is DCS program all about? Yeah. So the DCS Accent Educate program is an initiative by the DE Shaw group. Uh, it is basically a mentorship program for a duration of six months, uh, mm -hmm. mainly mm -hmm. intended for the female candidates. Uh, like in this cohort, we have 35 students uh, from the second year and 40 girls from the third year. So it's basically a six month program that aims at, uh, you know, teaching some tech courses and some non tech uh, things like behavioral sessions, uh, suggestions about writing resumes, presentations and all of that. It's a complete uh, holistic development program uh, for that. Yeah. Okay, basically a mentorship program for second year yeah, and third right. year girls. Right. Okay. Okay, and is there any college restrictions or anything for the No, no, there is nothing about it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, like anyone from CAC background can apply to it. Okay, and is, it is like CAC and IT students, I think, are only eligible, yeah, see, not uh, electrical branches. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay, so coming to the application procedure, what was the application procedure and how many steps did you get through like before getting to the actual mentorship? Yeah, basically, uh, there were four steps. First of that was a resume selection round. And uh, like in that, we had to mention some of our achievements or maybe JE ranks, bits at rank and all of that. Uh, some of the projects or some, you know, key achievements that you could like to highlight. Then uh, mm -hmm. we had to upload our resume. And then there was a, uh, an essay type of question. Like, why would we want to consider you and things like that. It was a basic question that had to be answered in about 300 words. So mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, so I think the application form plays a very important role in the selection criteria. Yeah, so any tips on the resume and the essays that you would like to give? Uh, like for the resume, it's good to have, you know, projects mm -hmm. uh, that would make you stand out as that's a very rigorous procedure. And the first step is the very crucial one as well. So uh, all of your skills and those matter. Then for the essay, I must say that like, you should try to be quite original. Because if you try to, you know, put some uh, thing like something you have not done. So I think it's very easy for them to catch since they are doing it rigorously for quite some yeah. time. You should be original and uh, like you should write it from the very core of your heart. That's something very important that they should feel you're quite enthusiastic towards it. Uh, so and for me, it was like, uh, OK, um, I did not just mention my success. There have been times where I was not able to do something like some kind of a failure kind of I also tried to mention that and uh, I explained like how I was able to combat it come out of it and rise up again so I think that's pretty much crucial that the resilience that you put to it so that was basically there in the first round uh, mm -hmm. then coming to the later rounds we had an online assessment and then there was a tech and an HR interview Okay, and anything maybe that you added to your resume that helped you stand out from the rest of the people because the competition is really high, so. Yeah, one of the things I think that gave me an upper edge was my academic performance. Like right from yeah. my childhood, I have been uh, a good uh, scorer actually. And then there have been other things like Olympiads and all that helped me add to mm. it. Uh, and then like I had worked on a small uh, startup actually, uh, some kind of internship experience. So I think all these help me stand out from test others. And uh, one thing more, like there has been various people, like there has been various myths, or I don't know if it is true or not, that they give preference to people who make projects on Python or something. So is it like that or something? Uh, I don't think so, actually, because I didn't have any project on Python. Yeah, I listed Python mm -hmm. as one of my skill sets in my resume, yeah. but that's it. I was not questioned anything regarding it, like in the later rounds as well. Okay, and can you tell us briefly about your projects? Like what kind of projects did you add in your resume? Yeah, so uh, basically I was not 
very inclined towards the project part. As I mentioned, mm -hmm. I had done some internship on Android development. So I mentioned it. And actually, I was not inquired a lot about my projects, even in the interviews. Okay. Fine. So basically, whatever you add in your resume, that only they'll ask in your interviews, right? Yeah, so I it hope. is important. And as you mentioned, there was an online assessment. So like what right. were like were there MCQs or were there coding questions or what was the procedure of that yeah. online assessment? So it was a two hour long online assessment. Uh, we had four MCQs on aptitude uh, and then two questions on uh, computer science related to MCQ questions. And there were three coding questions of uh, 100 marks. Okay, fine. So basically MCQ, aptitude and coding, all three were there. Yeah, all three were there. And the computer fundamentals that you mentioned included DBMS and DCC and like stuff like that. Uh, actually, there were DSA and OOPS questions, I think. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was for second year candidates as well. So I don't think they would include mm -hmm. networks and all of that. Yeah. Okay. So Shuzan, what was the difficulty level of the questions that were asked? Uh, like they were of some uh, medium kind of medium level difficulty questions. Mm -hmm. uh, like if someone practices uh, lead code and code forces and all, I don't think it should be a very big issue. Uh, there were some questions on graph and DP, I guess. Medium okay. ones, not very tough. Medium, not very tough. And specific, any particular specific topics that uh, were paid more emphasis on, like for the entire uh, online assessment? No, I don't think so. Actually, they want mm. you to be very thorough on each of the topics, be it simple or difficult ones. Doesn't matter. Like an okay. overall good overview would help you for that. And you mentioned that the next step was the technical interview. So can you share your experience of uh, so the we had a technical interview round that was a code pair round i was shared a link and it was of uh, typically 45 to 50 minutes and uh, like i was asked four coding questions in that time and uh, like i was not expected to write up the entire code just the function uh, the main logic should have been mentioned so that was it Okay, basically it was a technical interview, no HR yeah. questions or non-technical no, questions. No, no, that asked. was a pure technical interview. Pure technical interview. So apart from that, we had an HR round as well. Okay, so can you elaborate about that? Yeah, uh, so for the HR round, like it mostly revo uh, revolved around myself. Uh, what mm -hmm. were the things, what were my hobbies, what did I like to do in spare time and all of that. And then one more, most important question that I feel was asked, uh, is that uh, it's a mentorship program and it will be uh, in a span of six months where you have to continue your college education as well as this. So how are you going to manage your time? And for this, I think they uh, require a very innovative type of answer that would give you an upper ha hand and, you know, explaining them that, okay, you can go to that extent and you can cover up both the things equally well. Right. So basically they want to see your time management skills as well. Exactly. And then uh, some of the questions were focused on team management and mm -hmm. uh, some a little bit about projects, like how did you do? What was the approach? What is your learning approach and all that? Okay. Okay. Basically, the first one was completely technical and the second one yeah. completely non technical. Yes, exactly. So maybe what are some of the perks of this program? Like if I'm getting selected, what am I going to get? Uh, so like as far as my experience has been till date, it's really uh, interesting and informative kind of thing. First of all, like you get to meet such a lot of talented minds all across the country. Uh, you like it's very beneficial, like you have a beautiful network to interact with. Uh, then the second thing is like all the sessions that are connected, conducted in such a way uh, that it gives you a lot of insights on how the industry actually works about. So I think this is very beneficial. Like before entering into the IT sector, you get to know how things work in a corporate sector. And uh, like initially we were made to interact with a lot of industry leaders from DESIS who had about 10 to 15 years of experience or even more. And they shared this, like how they started their journey from the very beginning up till mm -hmm. here. And yeah, so that was it. Then apart from that, we have tech courses uh, like OOPS, Java, uh, DBMS, uh, and DSA competitive programming, all of these are covered. So, and like we are given assignments as well that helps us to, you know, cope up with the uh, industry world, actually, I could say. 
uh, and then there are non-tech sessions, behavioral sessions, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So all of these will somehow uh, give you a very holistic development uh, and will definitely help you in the long run. Yeah. Is there any stipend involved in the particular program? Yeah, like there's a one-time stipend of 50,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will okay. be provided at the end of the program. Okay, okay, fine. So Mayuri, is there any other tip that you would like to give to the girls who are going to apply for this particular program in the upcoming year? Okay, so first of all, I'll tell everyone that be confident, uh, like do not be overwhelmed by the numbers that okay, so many of them are applying, I'm not up to the mark, or maybe I'll not be selected, just go for it. Maybe it's mm -hmm. totally your call. Uh, and then I would try to say that Try a lot of hands-on on different projects or whatever you can do to enhance your skills. Be curious and try to be uh, excited to grab each and every opportunity. Uh, then I would tell that the essay round is quite important. It helps you to give uh, like give a better insight of who you are and uh, be original. Try to mention a lot of things. Take some time to write it. And uh, when once you are confident with, okay, what I've written is seems good to read, uh, then you're good to go. And then, yeah, the knowledge for fundamentals is important. You need to be thorough in your DSA skills, your programming, and theory part as well. And then the last thing is be confident. That's it. Yeah, guys, confidence is the key. Like, you need to be confident. Right. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So, okay, that was, uh, like, all about this particular program. Thank you so much, Mayuri. I hope it helps a lot of girls who are planning to apply it in the upcoming year. Great, thank you.